शिवे शर्मणीय दर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदनमहम विचित धर्मनंदनमहम विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज सुप्रीमाइटी और बिलउड घनश्याम महाराज पाथ में कठोर लिब्रेशन और पूज्य पाद गुरु जी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू डेविटीज जय स्वामी नारायण Today we are not going to listen or read some incident from the Bhakta Chintamani, but today we grab some ideas from Bhakta Chintamani. Just as Sadguru Sinis Kuran and Swami write down many incident, most of the incident of devotees or santo or female devotees or even child devotees of his time. meaning when sadguru niskuran and swami he was writing these all incident at the time those devotees were present on this earth also in the vachanamrut in the vachanamrut 21st of gadra second chapter bhagwan swami narayan himself says in the, in that vachanamrut that all of the scriptures describes either the life incidents of bhagwan or his sant in the same way just as the principal of vachanamrit and nan santo like sadguru sinis kuran and swami he had read down all of those incident of the santo and devotees and female devotees and even child devotees of his time meaning at the time they were present now today we have to do the same thing if we want to please maharaj then we have to do the same thing and our path is very clear the path which is used by our nan santo which is used by our previous devotees like dada khachar sura khachar parvat bhai in the same way we have to walk on the same path just as niskunan some describe the glory and greatness of the devotees and santo of that time in the same way we should also describe we should also glorify present devotees and present santo fortunately <coughs> we are very happy today because today is a great day for us because shravan sudhi ekadashi this is indian calendar according to indian calendar today is our puja guru ji's birthday there was very grand celebration of guru ji's 58th birthday in the vadodara so i thought in my mind today we do not continue our bhakta chintamani katha but instead of those previous incident let we describe some incident from the life of our pujya guru ji before 58 years our pujya pad guru ji he we cannot say it, we cannot say that or we cannot describe his birth like our birth or like uh, or a birth of any ordinary human being why because he is totally different even though he looks like our uh, an ordinary human being still he is totally different why because while staying forever in the aksardham just as maharaj uh, may be present on this earth in any form in any time in the same way his eternal liberated souls his muktas they also can 
can be present on the earth while forever staying in the aksardham and in the same way our puja pad guru ji is also staying there forever in aksardham he present he only do his darshan to us he just speaking with us he just telling something to us while staying in aksardham so before 58 years in the very remote town of south and gujarat in vedavadar their guruji first manifest on this earth as a human being his childhood name was vinod we all know about this history but the most important thing is that in the vachanamrut bhagwan swaminar himself says those who have vairagya and those who are coming from bhagwan's dham meaning who is li- already liberated his characteristics can be observed by his childhood in the same way if we only consider and if we only observe or examining our puja guru ji's childhood episodes then we can understand if we compare our life or our child's life with our puja guru ji's childhood life or even any ordinary person's life or childhood life with our puja guru ji's childhood life if we compare then we can understand real glory of our puja guru ji let me see some incident from puja guru ji's childhood life <coughs> there were so many incident some divine some human like but human like incident is only and only to hide his greatness his divinity why because if he shows only divinity then his parents his friends his relatives they cannot have the happiness or they cannot have or they cannot enjoy the happiness of his relation and only to give happiness to his relatives his parents his friends and hide uh, and only to hide his divinity and his greatness he perform human like actions on the other hand he has to another mission and that is if one can understand him if one can understand his real glory and greatness then by understanding him one can easily understand bhagwan swami narayan supremacy and that's why he, to preach bhagwan swami narayan supremacy on this earth that is his only mission which is already uh, decided predecided in the aksardha and that's why to fulfill this mission he many times shows some divinity and as bhagwan swami narayan describes in the vachanamrit that such kind of persons can be defined by his childhood in the same way pujyapad guru ji when he was playing in the street of the very remote village of vedavadar at the time he was not playing the games just as today's uh, all the children all the boys they were playing guruji was not like that guruji called all these other boys his friends he gathered all the all these kids from the village and when all of the gathered there guruji first make them understood uh, give some understanding regarding bhagwan's form after that guruji make a small temple using stone pebbles and some mud and everything some stick guruji make made this uh, small temple and in that temple by using a small stone and pebbles he established a form of bhagwan in the mandir and after that puja guruji 
while all those children's all those other kids they gather there with the with the help of all the other kids puja guruji celebrated the festivals like janmashtami uh, hari jayanti ekadashi and many other things and he also performed there in this uh, small mandir like artis and dhun and kirtan and also distributed prasad to all those kids just think how is it possible for very small children very very small even you have seen many kids they were playing right now with the video games or even they pass their time on uh, watching on uh, watching some movies or cartoons on television even you may have a doubt that at the time there was no video games there was no television nothing that's why they were playing in the street but in india even you can compare today's children today's boys they were playing not l- just as puja but guruji was playing so he's playing his games his everything related to bhagwan only but not for his personal or his bodily comforts or enjoyment his games his actions everything and only and only related to god also when he call all those boys and he also enjoy and celebrate the other festivals that is why only to engage those other kids in the worshiping of bhagwan this is his mission he had started his mission not after becoming a sant not after uh, coming into our fellowship our sampraday but from his childhood even many times puja guruji describe his own incident that not only today he described the glory and greatness and supremacy of bhagwan swami narayan but even when he come into the womb of his mother even before that and even when he was ch- uh, he was very little boy he was in a first grade at that time he also described the story of parvat bai in the school and by using this story he described the supremacy of bhagwan swami narayan is it possible for first grade student to describe the supremacy of bhagwan swami narayan in this way and even without having a company of good sant you can say that our our children uh, may describe the stories or may uh, sing kadis and kirtans but they have the company of true sant but compared to this with puja guruji's life he had no any kind of company he had no any kind of environment of our sampraday or bhagwan swami narayan nothing still he described greatness and glory of bhagwan swami narayan and he described the supremacy of bhagwan swami narayan why because he is coming he is present only from aksardham that's why there were so many incident yes when he become gradually younger from childhood now he passed his childhood after that when he come in a very younger age at the time in india we know at the time people used to uh do uh used to grazing their cows and buffaloes in the open fields in the same way puja guruji has this duty to grazing the ch- uh cows in the field at the time when guruji went uh with the cows in the field there he also sat under a tree for meditation so is it not possible for any young boy to meditate upon upon the form of bhagwan no doubt today we can see such kind of boys but they have the company of 
an ekantik sant like puja guruji and santo but at that time puja guruji have no kind of company of bhagwan swaminarayan sant and still he meditates upon bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form even before this incident when he was playing in the street at the time he is one of the boy uh, one of the childhood friend he saw us the one of the pillars electricity pillars in india we know in our whole of the, all of the pillars uh, guruji was sitting there using to put both of his legs in this hole and he meditated there this is we do not know about this incident but even when we went there at the time his childhood friends they described puja guruji's glory after this incident when guruji uh this this was uh, the childhood incident there were so many such kind of incident we have but after passing his childhood and young age when he came to become a son with puja dada guruji in surat at that time puja dada guruji commanded him to go for permission of ganesha maharaj and at that time we know puja pad guruji even at the age of 11 he performed very uh, uh personal endeavors like uh while standing on one leg and one leg raised and both of his hands were raised and he was chanting swami narayan swami narayan uh, on a mada every day he used to do 108 mada in front of, uh, while standing in uh, standing on one leg in front of ganesha maharaj in a surat we know after a year ganesha maharaj himself came out from uh from murti and he himself gave permission to puja guruji to become a sant how is it possible for 11 years old boy to perform such kind of uh, 108 mara every day if one can chant this much mara on for one days or two days or even a week but not for a year after this incident when guruji took a diksha he accepted bhagwati diksha in a vartal and at that time on the same day there was a there was an assembly in sabamandap hall in vartal at the time there were so great santos at the time present in the sabha mandap and katha was going on at the time after the katha we know many santos pravachan even today we have the same tradition in the same way pujyapad guruji he was a new initiate sant and as a new initiate sant he was given a mic to speak something so that the crowd so that the devotees can imagine that what can uh, what kind of abilities remain in this sant then guruji described even he had only 15 minutes but still guruji speak in such a way and he described the glory and greatness of bhagwan swami narayan and his supremacy that everybody can become very very please and everybody can have a question is that uh, is this possible that a new initiate or sant can describe and do katha like this everybody says no but this is a unique this is a very uh, unique sant in our sampraday this is his first day in our uh, as a sant in this sampraday in the last this is his first day that he described the glory and greatness of bhagwan swami narayan in front of the devotees and devotees all the devotees and some muktos and some other santo they become very pleased 
but what about today's situation just as sadguru ni skuran swami he wrote in 153 chapter of bhakta chintamani pragat prabhu pragat prapati pragat mane kalyan pragat par cha pade pade pure che shyam sujan <coughs> just as bhagwan swami and himself is forever present in, on this earth even though we cannot see him still he is forever reside on this earth either in the form of idol in the mandir or in the form of sant or in the form of scriptures or any other form but he forever present on this earth in the same way just as bhagwan swami narayan while remain present forever on this earth he gave many many miracle like incident and evidence that he is forever present on this earth to devotees and santo in the same way or pujya pad guru ji when we observe his life then we can also get the same kind of incident same kind of a miracle like incident we can also experience okay put aside this miracle like incident but let we see some practical incident just as only once uh, only listening his katha not directly but on a cd in a player if one listen his katha and totally change his life how is it possible yes i am talking about our sanjeev bhagat of mekan he was no more than gangster before he become a satsangi at that time he lived he stayed here in new york in new york early morning wake up after becoming fresh after having breakfast went to job after coming back from job do not eat or do not take a shower in a home only went with his friends in a restaurant take their lunch or dinner whatever in the restaurant after this do not come direct to home but with his gangster like friends uh wandering from one place to another in one club or another in a bar everywhere now when he listen once only once pujya guru ji's katha even he didn't finish the katha but even he listen only half a katha and at the time at that time he was on way of his job and in a car he listened pujya guru ji's katha there on the way he call his boss today i have some task so i do not come to job and he took a u turn this is not u turn from his job this is not u turn from the way of his job but this is u turn in his own life this katha change his total life now after that before this incident he wear all golden jewelry on his body more than 250 grams but all this after listening this katha he directly as he took a u turn from the way he directly reached to his home he remove all his jewelry golden jewelry even he took he he kept a revolver with him he renounce all these things he stop from the same day all his bad habits to go with his friends in a club and pubs in a bar he renounce everything he call all of his friends he will not come with them further and he stop now after that gradually he progress in satsang and even today 
Puja Guruji himself described his greatness that even while driving he was chanting Swami Narayan Swami Narayan continuously this is what his totally changed life why this happen he has listened maybe he had listened many other santos katha before but still he cannot get a change in his life and only after listening katha of puja guruji he got a miraculous change in his life this is a practical incident now two days the last incident i would like to describe there were so many incident because puja pad guruji's life is like an ocean just as we cannot fully glorify we cannot fully describe the glory and greatness of bhagwan swami in the same way we cannot fully describe uh life incident and glory of puja guruji today uh the last incident after the cb in american youth cb 2016 along with puja guruji we santo i was traveling uh from one place to another in one state to another like uh georgia to alabama alabama to tennessee tennessee to kentucky and kentucky to illinois even though at the time puja guruji we know today one he was he is performing dharana parana for many months so at the time we know puja pad guruji has pa- dharana parana still he was traveling this much sometimes he had to take his lunch and dinner together at night and the next day he had to do fast he had to do the next day only drink water nothing else and many many padramnis and kathas this is in addition now at the time we have a program in a uh, the, our loyadham duties they organize a uh, sabha in a hall in tennessee 12th july in the sabha there were many devotees present but besides devotees some many indians they also came there to uh big uh having on leadership and asirvachan they may thought in their mind that uh discourses may be in english because we know south indian people they do not understand gujarati or hindi they only understand their native language and their second language is english so many non devotees many such kind of uh south indian people they also present there but after uh we know our sabha system first dhun kirtan after kirtan and dhun uh puja surat vallabh swami did katha for half an hour and after puja surat swami's katha uh there was puja pad guruji's uh aashirwad blessings so after guruji delivered his speech and uh sabha is over everything is done after that according to our ritual as one by one devotees come to uh, come near to puja guruji he bow down to puja guruji's and after santos in the same way in that hall there was a long queue of devotees one by one devotees passed and at the time after some times one person came there after having puja pad guruji's darshan he came to have a darshan of santo therefore puja surat vallabh swami was sitting and next to him i myself was there and next to me puja dhyan vallabh swami now that person came there and uh, at the time puja surat vallabh swami asked him how do you feel in a katha in a gujarati he had asked to me katha ma thi su samjhya ke su lido at the time that person he said swari swami i do not understand gujarati or hindi then our coordinator there padmeshwar bhai he dis, uh, he introduced him that swami this is a uh, south indian he is mr gupta ji and he born in south india so 
and he, from very long time he stay here in US that's why he cannot understand Hindi or the language he only understand his native language and uh, English then Swami ask him then why are you sitting in an assembly because many South Indian people after Pujya Surat Olaf Swami's Katha and uh, half a Guruji's Katha they uh, they literally leave the hall why because they cannot understand any word any single word they cannot understand that's why they leave the hall but then Swami asked why you sit till the end of this assembly then that Mr. Gupta ji he while tears came out from his eyes and while folding his hands he said Swami I really very much grateful and very fortunate today why because I do not understand any single word what you are speaking or what Puja Guruji is speaking or even what this devotee is talking with you I do not understand single word but when I have a darshan only darshan of Puja Guruji and when I listen what he is talking what he is talking so at that time even I cannot understand what Guruji is speaking still I have some divine experience while Guruji was doing Katha when he is giving blessings to all at that time I feel something different in my heart I have listened many times many other orators and santo even they speak they spoke in, in English and I understand what they are speaking what they try to describe but still I do not feel such kind of peace and divinity in my heart and on the other hand when Pujya Guruji described but what he speak I do not understand still only and only for uh, by his darshan I can have such kind of peace in my heart and that's why I definitely say today that he is a divine person he is not like the other santo this is the words of that Mr. Gupta ji and tears came out from his eyes so not only Gujarati understanding people not only those who can understand what Pujapad Guru is speaking if we have a pure heart if we have a desire to acquire or accept someone's greatness or Pujapat Guruji's greatness in our life then even though we cannot understand what he is speaking still Bhagwan give us such kind of divine experience and divinity that by which we can understand Pujapat Guruji's greatness and glory so this is to this is the latest incident there were so many incident we know many many incident happen like uh, just as we before talking about miraculous incident we know we have seen videos of uh, incident happen in a surat how the devotees went to Aksardam by wearing the Moti Mala uh, given him to by uh, given him by Puja Guruji how such kind of things is possible even though the main important thing is that even though Pujapat Guruji has such a greatness he has such divine powers still he remain very 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 humble when he meets kids he become like kids when the older people senior people the devote, uh, senior devotees they dancing on a stage he immediately reach there on the stage while dance uh, for dancing with the senior devotees how can this be possible even one 
who has only worldly greatness that person cannot do this thing but one who has greatness given by maharaj himself only that divine person can do this this is what the greatness today because uh, we know today this ekadashi day shravan so the ekadashi is our puja pat guru ji's birthday according to our indian calendar that's why with the uh with the preference of the scriptures like bhakta chintamani and the vachanamrit i just try to describe some incident from the life of puja pat guru ji it is not possible for anyone uh, for anybody to describe fully his greatness and glory or fully describe his all of the incident it is not possible for us why because we are human and he is a divine person even his body is made of chaitanya meaning a divine so how can we understand him if we cannot understand him then how we can describe him so this is just my childish try to please maharaj and all of you devotees so on this day on this 58th birthday of puja pat guru ji let we pray to maharaj he maharaj if in a future or in our life any happiest day remain in our life in our path we have such kind of fortune we have such kind of fate please all those happiness goes to in puja pat guru ji's life and you have decided to do something which give us pain and such kind of things happen in the life of puja pat guru ji so all those things happen in my life by praying this jai swami narayan shri ganeshyam maharaj ni jai श्रीपति श्रीधर सर्वेश्वर भक्तिधर्मात्मज वासुदेव हरे माधव केशव कामद कारण स्वामीनायण नीलकंठम भजे श्रीगणश्याम महाराज नी जय